On November 26th, I had a dream. And in that dream, I was walking in the forest with a friend and I was telling him a dream that I had only had in my dream life. So as I was telling him this dream, the dream actually started to happen. I could see three mountains and I could see pine trees on the side and I saw this rainbow stretching over the mountains. And when I saw this, uh, a voice said from heaven, the time has come. Immediately I got in my spirit, the time has come for God's spirit to flood the earth. It reminded me of a dream that I had three years ago. It just, the earth just flooded and animals were on top of broken pieces of wood and stuff and floating on door, doors. When I woke up from that dream, the scripture that came to my mind was Isaiah 11:9. 9. They would do no harm on my holy mountain because the spirit of the Lord would fill the earth like the waters as the waters cover the sea. If you know about the rainbow, it is God's covenant, his promise not to destroy earth by flood waters. And I think that this rainbow actually in my dream was a reversal of, you know, being destroyed by flood waters and saying, I am going to renew the world with my spirit. I'm gonna flood it with the spirit of God. You look at the pine trees, the pine trees actually are a symbol and sign of uh, reversing a curse. Christ saved us by dying on the tree. Mountains, they're known to be for something of divine inspiration. So in the three mountaintops, the, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, you know, that's what it represents to me. And I saw that as uh, the three mountaintops. Jesus came though to give us a new nature and to fill us with the Holy Spirit. I cannot live a righteous life without being filled with the Holy Spirit. And when we are filled with the Holy Spirit, he starts to give us visions. When the Spirit of God is permeating culture, when the Spirit of God is in our hearts and our minds, it's basically transform, transferring the heart and the mind of God into our own consciousness, which causes us to be people of wisdom, causes us to be people of love and understanding.